Hey guys, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together these cute little bows that we had affixed to our ornaments. And I'm trying to see if I can find one here. Here's one of the ornaments, um, and you probably saw them in the photography. We didn't include it in the main video, but they're actually very simple to put together. And um, one of these, I don't remember which one it was, I think it was either this one or this one. It's probably the first one that I ever did and this is how it came out. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I have a little helpful, a helpful little tool to help you uh, accomplish that. There's a free download in our free SVG section. It's basically this piece. And um, your download actually comes with two. I cut it out an extra time to um, just make it a little more sturdy, okay? And you can cut it out as many times as you want to make it as sturdy as you want. I actually did it with just one piece of cardstock when I made those bows that you see in the video right now, but probably would have uh, actually been a little more helpful if it was a little bit thicker for me. So all you're gonna do to create this little tool is just glue these pieces right on top of each other. Okay, and I'm doing four just to make it nice and thick. Okay, and these bows are really simple to do actually once you have this little tool. So it's super cool. It's just a free download. Um, half a sheet of paper if you only cut out two, maybe three quarters of a sheet of paper if you cut out four. And it's just gonna come in super handy and help you create these beautiful bows. So here's how it works. Grab some ribbon and take your ribbon, start off by having a little bit of excess over on the side. And all you're gonna do is loop this around. And I looped it around four times, okay? So loop it around four times so that you have four, four of these on each side. So right now there's two on this side, only one on that side. So now there's two on that side and two on this side. So now it's three and three and four and four. Okay, but we do need to loop it around one more time so that the end, I'll show you what I mean here. So we can go ahead and cut this, cut it about, give it about an extra inch or so, like that, okay? So that we have an end on this side and an end on this side. And now we're gonna take and kind of just make sure that you've got it somewhat tight. It doesn't have to be too tight, but just make sure that it's somewhat tight and kind of scrunch these together the best you can. Okay, just kind of scrunch them together a little bit. And if you can't, that's okay too. And what we're gonna do, and what I actually wanna do is just make sure that it can kind of scrunch the middle together, okay? I'm gonna take my string and feed it through there and then feed it out so I have kind of I have it kind of looped around. And let me just focus in on this a little bit better for you. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and tighten this as tight as we can get it. Okay, so I'm just tightening this. So you see how that looks there. Okay, and just want to kind of double knot it. Okay, so go ahead and tighten that. Okay, and then tie a couple knots to get it to stay. And try to maintain that, that pressure from when we really stretched it, just like that. Okay, so you see that? Okay, and I'm gonna tie it one more time just to make sure that it sticks. There we go, okay. And I'm not gonna cut this off just yet, okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slide this off. There we go, okay. And then we've got this little piece here and this little piece here. These are gonna be the bottoms of our bow, okay. Just like that. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this piece off. And then you just take these pieces and just kind of flare them out and dress it up and make it pretty. Okay. 
There we go. And just position them how you want them. Might have to pull a little hard to get them out. And then take this piece and bring it down. And then you can go ahead and trim those. Maybe just about a quarter of an inch longer than the little than each little bow. Okay, and there you go. There's your pretty little bow. And then you can actually use this string. Okay, so here is one of our ornaments. And actually this string's not tied. But you can actually use this string here to loop around the other string, okay, to actually like tie it in place. So it'd be helpful if I just put this down on my surface and did that. Or um, you can hot glue this to the string here. It's totally up to you. But actually, and Ron showed me how to do this. And the first time I did it, it actually looked really nice. So just tie that to the string or just hot glue it, whatever you got to do to get it to stay. And I think he did tell me to, um, to hot glue it. But once you, once you hot glue it there, it's going to look really pretty. So really simple, really quick and super handy. So make sure you go to the website and download your free file so you too can make these beautiful bows. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.